Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jerry. Welcome to our course on beginning auto layout. In this course, you'll learn the basics of auto layout, get familiar with the tools at your disposal, and even learn how you can get Apple engineers to do some of the layout work for you. Let's get started. This course has been edited by Richard Kreitz and George Tascos. Thank you so much for helping make this course great. When you're creating an app, you want to make sure the layout works on all the different devices. So maybe you start with the iPhone SE. You calculate the X and Y position, width and height of each of your views to look right on that size of device. But you want to support landscape, so you add some code to detect landscape mode and compute different values for that mode. Of course, you want to run on more than just an SE, so you also detect if you're running on an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 7 Plus or landscape on any of those devices. Wow, that's a lot of work. But wait, you still have to add some code for the iPad and the 12 inch iPad Pro and landscape. Oh, and the iPad has a split screen mode, so you need to handle the one third, one half and two thirds screen modes. And we haven't even started to talk about labels that have to change size to support other languages, or letting the user choose the font size. If you're going to write code to support all of these, you're going to write hundreds of lines of code before you even get to the functionality of your app. Or you can use Auto Layout. Don't worry if this seems a little daunting. By the end of this series, you'll learn several tools that will give you the ability to take control of your layouts and even make it easy. One of the earliest tools that Apple introduced to help create flexible layouts is called Auto Resizing Masks. These are fairly limited, but still useful in some situations. So you'll start by learning how they work and when to use them. One of the latest tools that they introduced is Stack Views. These are simple to use, but quite powerful and let you create even sophisticated layouts very quickly. Then you'll learn about the basic building block of Auto Layout the layout constraint. You'll learn how to use constraints to describe to the auto layout system how your layout should work and let it do the hard work of calculating the position values for all your views for every device and situation. For the app for this series, I think I've found a really underserved population in the app store, pirates. We'll build what every modern day pirate needs, a handbook app. We'll make it work on any device in any orientation. When you're done, if you continue on to the next series, Mastering Auto Layout, you'll learn even more about working with auto layout constraints, debugging your layout, and how to make layouts that behave differently depending on the size of the device. That's it for this video tutorial. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get going. The next step is to learn about auto resizing masks, which is what we'll look at in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.